happy days Tilly tote bag and this is what you'll need two main fabrics cut out two lining fabrics two rockabillies for the ties and two handles place your handle right sides down fold in half lengthways and press open out then take the sides and fold to the crease you've made and do the same for that side and press then fold over and then top stitch along there and along that side repeat for the other one and that will be your handles finished making the rockabilly ties take one of your tie fabrics and fold right sides together in half and press. Now clip along the curved edge and then take it over to the sewing machine and using the quarter of an inch seam allowance start there and sew all along the curve and stop there. Snip along the curve and then turn it the right way and repeat for the other one. Once you've turned it the right way, ensure that the seam runs along the center of your tie and press. Now repeat for the second tie. To find the center line of the outer of your bag, fold in half right sides together, line up the sides and then gently crease and then open out and you'll have the center line there. Place your rockabilly tie on that center crease with the seam facing you. Clip into place. Position your handle seven centimeters in from each corner on both sides and then clip into place. Take it to the machine and tack into place close to the edge by sewing along there, along there, and along there. I've tacked into place and now I'm going to repeat for the other side. Now place both sides together, line up your edges, and clip into place. I've lined up all the edges and I've clipped into place and now I'm going to take it to the machine and starting there I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch seam allowance along there and stop. Starting there and stop. Starting there and stop. I won't be sewing the box corners yet. To box the corners line up the side seam and the bottom seam and then clip into place. I've clipped into place and I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine and start there. I'm going to sew along there using a quarter of an inch seam allowance. I've sewn all along there and that's one box corner done and now repeat for the other side. Now take your lining fabric and place right sides together, line up the edges and clip into place along there, along there to there and leave a gap for turning, along there and along there. And now I'm going to take it over the machine and using a quarter of an inch seam allowance start there and sew and stop, start there and stop. Start there and stop, start there and stop. I've sewn all the way around and I've left a gap at the bottom for turning 
and now I'm going to box the corners as we did before. So line up the top and the bottom. Ensure that the side seams line up and then clip into place. I've clipped into place and I'm going to take it to the machine and using a quarter of an inch seam allowance, start there and sew all along there. I've sewn along there and that's one box corner completed. Now repeat for the other side. Now both corners are boxed. Leave the fabric this way around. I've placed the outer bag inside the lining and I've lined up all the edges and ensured that the side seams match up and then I've clipped all the way around. The fabric should be right sides together at this stage. I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine and using a quarter of an inch seam allowance sew all the way around joining the outer to the lining. I've sewn all the way around joining the outer to the lining. The last bit is to pull it through the right way using the gap we left at the bottom. I've turned it the right way around, now fold in the raw edges and sew up the gap. The final step is to top stitch all the way around the top for a nice neat finish. You might want to use your fancy stitches on this part. 